Hey everybody, it's been a while since I put a video out and I just wanted to get on real quick to share a couple things with you that are going on. Uh, also, just to bring some encouragement to you. Uh, as you know, we're kind of in the fall. We're already in October and I can't even believe that it's this time of year already. I'm just in awe of what I'm seeing. The trees are just so beautiful and right now we've just got some amazing weather and uh, it's just such a gift from the Lord. And, um, you know, with this time of year, also uh, being in the year that we are uh, in an election year, we've got a lot of things going on. A lot of uh, crazy stuff has happened with uh, the virus and, and everything else. Um, but we know that God is still God and that he is faithful and that he is awesome and amazing and he has good things in store for us. And so I just want to... Uh, encourage you with this. I, I'm actually, we're in our, our Exodus reading right now, and uh, this week we are in Exodus 21 through 25, and I really am having a hard time getting out of Exodus chapter 23. There's so much in here that the Lord has just been speaking to me, and I wanted to share something with you. In Exodus 23, verse 20, it says, See, I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way and bring you to the place I have prepared. Pay attention to him and listen to what he says. Do not rebel against him. He will not forgive your rebellion since my name is in him. If you listen carefully to what he says and do all that I say, I will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you. My angel will go ahead of you and bring you into the land of the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will wipe them out. Do not bow before their gods or worship them or follow their practices. You must demolish them and break their sacred stone, stones to pieces. Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from you, and none and none will miscarry or be barren in your land. I will give you a full lifespan. This is a blessing from the Lord. And he's saying, hey, I am taking you into that promised land. And that thing that, that once held you uh, captive and slaves in Egypt, we're moving from there through the wilderness, through uh, a season of, of transformation uh, in, in your life. And I'm taking you into the promised land. Now, we know that it took 40 years for them to get there because of their own rebellion. But the Lord's promise is true here. And he said, number one, I'm taking you to the place I prepared for you. Number two, I'm sending my angel ahead of you. And um, I believe that in this, because where he says, my name is in him, that we're probably talking about a manifestation of Jesus here, uh, being with the people. And it's amazing that God uh, points to Jesus all through the Old Testament up to that moment where Jesus came at Christmas when we celebrate his birth and at Easter when we celebrate his death and his resurrection and everything that it means for us. And so Jesus, who's the same yesterday, today, and forever, is the same Jesus that we serve today. And we know that God wants to bring us out of captivity into promise in our life, the promised land in our life. And he says right here, hey, I'm going to send him ahead of you and he's going to wipe out your enemies. And we we have to trust the Lord, especially in these times as as. Um, you know, I'm just watching things on TV. We're seeing a lot more uh, commercials, like political commercials. Um, if you've been watching the debates, that I mean, just the, the heightening of uh, the tension, you know, in the land with everything that we're dealing with right now. But God is still God, and He still fights our battles for us, and He still goes before us, and He still takes us into the promised land. And so, I just want to bring that encouragement uh, to you today. And also just remind you that we have some very important things coming up uh, as a church. And I understand that um, that some of us are gathering on Sunday mornings. Some of us are still just kind of watching from home. And uh, things are a little bit different still than they were. We're, we're not back to what we knew uh, pre-2020. Um, I can't believe we're, we're already almost through this year. But... We still come together in unity in the name of Jesus, and there's still power in prayer. And we are coming into a 21-day period of fasting and prayer, which is going to start on October 12th. And so if you don't already know what you're going to be fasting during that time, seek the Lord and say, what do you want me to 
uh, be sacrificing during this time of prayer and fasting. The reason that we are fasting is because I believe we're in a critical time in our nation and even as the church where we need to come before the Lord and say, God, we need you to give us wisdom. We need you to show us how to pray. We need you to show us how to vote. We need you to show us what strongholds we need to battle in the spiritual warfare end of things uh, for our nation, uh, for the church. And so we're going to be fasting and praying uh, the, the fast is going to be 21 days starting on October 12th, and uh, we're going to kick it off with a intercessory prayer night at the church on October 12th at 6.30. I want to invite you to come out to the church. If you can, uh, we're going to join in the sanctuary, and we're going to just spend some time in prayer and just coming before the Lord. And I also want to let you know that um, I'm in the, the process of coming up, or I'm putting together a uh, 21 day, uh, like prayer, uh, guide and, and fasting guide. And we've had those in the past. Um, but this one I think is going to be a little more specific to the time that we're in right now. And, um, I, I'm hoping to have that to you, um, by the end of, of this weekend so that Monday you're ready to go. I'll at least have a, a paper copy, uh, at the church and we're going to get this on the website for you as well so that you can look at that 21 day guide, uh, as you're fasting for 21 days, and there are going to be certain focuses on certain days for us as a church. And uh, so I just want to encourage you to join us. Please join us in the fasting and in the prayer um, as you can. And uh, we're, we're just trusting the Lord for his guidance, his wisdom, and his breakthrough during this time, and that um, his will will be done uh, in the election this year. So I just want you to know that I love you. I, I miss you. There's so many of you that I just haven't seen um, really kind of since March. Um, I, I miss seeing your faces, um, but I, I know that that you're still connecting. And uh, I appreciate that the technology that we have for live streaming and things like that. And uh, I also understand that there are some emailing issues that I'm having. And, and so I'm, I'm trying to do my best to get this information out to you as, as many ways as I possibly can, just so that People are not left in the dark as to what's happening with the church right now and feeling disconnected. So um, anyway, that, that's all I have. Uh, I, I just I bless you. I encourage you. And I just want to pray for you right now. Father, we just come to you right now. And I want to thank you for how awesome and powerful you are. I thank you, God, that you never change. Lord, that your character never changes. Your power never weakens. Lord, your thoughts towards us. Um, don't fade, Lord. You have nothing but love and good thoughts towards us. And uh, God, we know from your word that you want to bless us. Lord, you are to be honored. You are to be re revered. And uh, we humble ourselves before you, especially during this time, Lord, of fasting and prayer. And we ask, Lord, that you would just give us wisdom, that you would give us knowledge, Lord, that you would lead us and guide us during this time. I pray that you would give us strength. And uh, Lord, we know that even in times of prayer and fasting, uh, the enemy tries to ramp up his attack against the church, Lord. And so we just, we come against that in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Lord, for your protection during this time. Lord, we lift up our, our government to you, our president to you, even our governor to you, Father. We ask, Lord, that you would have your hand upon them, that you would bless them, that you would lead them with your wisdom, Father. And uh, Lord, where the enemy would try to use uh, even forms of government, Lord, to bring deception and division, Lord, into our country. Lord, we just come against that in Jesus' name. We ask that you would unify us as the body of Christ and that we would call on your name, Jesus, our Lord. In your holy name we pray, amen. All right, well, God bless you guys. I hope to see you on Sunday. And uh, definitely hope to see you on Monday night for our intercessory prayer. And uh, if not, maybe you can reach out uh, through some form of internet <laughs> technology. So, all right. Well, God bless you. Bye.